Hey guys, welcome back to the 8020 of e-commerce for the week of December 10th. This week, we're going to learn about the about Amazon chartering their own ocean ships and airlines to solve this whole supply chain mess and what we can do to make the most out of that as sellers. Also, we'll look at Amazon Web Services, how they actually went down and how some sellers got locked out of their Seller Central accounts. I mean, all of Amazon was down for, for some time earlier this week, and as well as um, some recent developments on Amazon with a way to... Um, to make it cheaper to send split shipments into Amazon. There's this new service available with Amazon. And we'll also cover the seven figure case study episode five this week. Uh, I pulled the trigger. Uh, I chose, you'll find out whether I chose the red pill or the blue pill, as well as we had a, a live training this week about how to get the most out of 2022 using virtual assistants. And my name is Gary Huang, and this is the 8020 of e-commerce. Uh, before we get started, this is brought to you by the Seven Figure Seller Summit. I'm super grateful for all of you that voted, and I'm excited that we won Seller Poll uh, for two years in a row, both this year, 2021, and last year. So to celebrate, we're going to relaunch Seven Figure Seller Summit for a limited time. So if you haven't already seen it, you can get a free pass at the link below, and you can learn about what all these eight-figure and seven-figure sellers are doing to um navigate through this whole perfect storm supply chain so that you can crush it in in this year and next year all right so the link is below the video so let's get into this guys so first off amazon web services uh there was an outage earlier this week and amazon's cloud computing unit was hit with an outage tuesday December 7th, and it took down some websites and services, but perhaps most importantly, some Amazon Seller Central accounts were affected. Uh, let me know in the chat if you were affected. Uh, the takeaway here is make sure to check your accounts, check your buyer messages because of that outage. Some customers may have experienced delays. Um, Amazon's whole system was was down. So that includes their fulfillment, uh, their delivery vehicles. Um, so this was a big, big problem on Tuesday. So if you haven't already, definitely pay attention to your, your messages and your data so uh, you don't get buyer complaints and negative feedback as a result of this. All right, next. Um, Amazon is now chartering their own container ships and planes to solve this whole supply chain mess. All right. So they've been uh, making shipping containers for several years now, and they're chartering private ship ships to avoid the major bottlenecks in the supply chain. So the, the very cool part about it is while most major retailers, they have to wait for months and months for goods to arrive uh, as they're stuck at the beach of Long Beach and Los Angeles. Amazon, because they have their own ships, they can divert these ships to smaller ports like at other places in the U.S., such as Houston. And um, they're, they were reported to have only two days wait before all of the containers can be um, unloaded at the port compared to months and months. And some of you guys are still waiting. So imagine that. So with its own ships, Amazon, they can really... Um, choose which ports to visit and avoid the most heavily congested ones. And Amazon does have their Amazon Global Logistics freight forwarding service that's been available for a few years now. And if you haven't already, it might be worth exploring this because it's possible that you can get one of their uh, ships that can go to a smaller port and to save you time as well. All right. So that's one of the key takeaways, guys. Definitely consider that Amazon Global Logistics. Next. Amazon has a, a new service out called box level inventory placement. So it was just announced a few days ago. And according to some resources, including e-commerce bytes, it's now cheaper to ship split shipments to Amazon FBA. All right. So what does this mean? It seems that the program gives the seller greater flexibility uh, in selecting the, the warehouse. Um, and then on one hand, once the, the inventory is in Amazon's facilities, the inventory is stored in, stored in multiple places. Uh, so there's a better chance of reaching the customers faster, as well as there's, um, there's no change to your fees to take advantage of this service. All right. And then uh, one seller wrote in Amazon seller forums that this happened on my last FBA shipment. I process exactly as normal where my package would go. Um, I'll go to one fulfillment center nearest to me. So instead for the same price, it went, it was processed as three different fulfillment centers. And I, I paid no more than my normal fulfillment 
load would cost and it got shipped automatically to the appropriate fulfillment center. So my thought is that it saves Amazon time and money to get the boxes and turn around and reship them to different fulfillment centers. All right. So the takeaway is to look for the box level inventory placement when creating partner fulfilled shipments in Amazon Seller Central. This could you could save you time and money. All right. Uh, next, I wanted to quickly highlight that we just launched episode five of the seven figure case study where I'm building a new e-commerce business from scratch. I'm leaving no stone unturned this week. I'm pulling the trigger with product selection. So if you haven't already, check out episode five in the link below the video where you'll find out how I'm, how I'm reviewing my shortlisted products. How I'm going to a second level of um, product research, looking at factors, uh, including the reviews, the what um, improvements to make to, based on competitors' reviews, also looking at profitability, right, and as well as sourcing, uh, sourcing factors that ultimately this will affect my decision. So I'm being very transparent with the products I'm considering. So definitely check it out if you want to learn more about product selection, which is probably the most important part of building your e-commerce and Amazon business. In addition, this week, we had a, a live training about getting the most out of 2022 with virtual assistants featuring Gilad Friedman from Virtual Assistant Academy Philippines and Gilad is an expert when it comes to hiring VAs and also training VAs, especially for Amazon sellers. So in this 60 minute training, um, he really shared about the different types of tasks. There's four main tasks that you can delegate to an Amazon virtual assistant, as well as effectively leading your team members or virtual assistants. We had over a hundred people register for this. We had over a hundred questions and he really tailored the presentation to answer as many as you can. So if you haven't already, definitely don't miss out on this presentation. Um, I, I spoke with a small group of seven figure Amazon sellers recently. I asked them, what was your number one mistake as you build your business to seven figures? I was very surprised to learn that it was the biggest mistake was hiring too late, right? Hiring too late. So don't make the same mistake, guys. Now is the best time as you're ramping up in 2022. Amazon is changing. There's a lot more competition from aggregators. So, I mean, aggregators have a, a team of professionals on their side. So you don't want to go into this battle being a, a one man or one woman army, if you know what I mean. All right. Um, in addition, looking out next week, we're going to have a additional live training where you'll learn how to get the best out of your product listings to beat your competition and dominate your niche with John Tilly. He's the co-founder of Zonguru. This will be on December 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And um, it's absolutely critical right now to optimize your product listings in order to dominate your niche. And in this training, you'll learn more about how to find the most relevant, impactful keywords, understanding what the data says about your keywords and how to use these keywords to out-optimize your competitors' listings things and also how to monitor monitor your competitors and your own keyword ranking so definitely if you are interested sign up at the link below this will be on thursday december 16th at 4 at 7 p.m eastern it's actually the last live session of the year because we're going to close down for the holidays i hope you can join us all right so Last but not least, I just like to remind you guys, uh, the Seven Figure Seller Summit, we just relaunched it. And if you haven't watched yet, definitely get your free pass at the link below, sevenfiguresellersummit.com. All right. So this is the 8020 of e-commerce. My name is Gary Huang. I hope this is helpful. Hope you guys have an awesome Q4 and we will see you guys at the next session. Bye, everyone.